Pitch correction is a huge part of vocal production these days, of course. Um, you know, it's on everything, whatever they tell you about it. And I guess you're hearing two distinctly different approaches these days. One is uh, a really present and deliberate vocal tuning. And, you know, of course, there's a way to do that in Cubase with the pitch corrector. Um, for me, I prefer a more natural sound with somebody like Taylor, who I have here. Um, I just like subtle adjustments that I can do myself, and I think Very Audio is a perfect way to do that. You can get in and move every note to the degree that you want to move it. You don't have to tune everything. You can leave some things a little loose, and I think that's the way you get a natural result. For me, the ultimate is that it's beautifully in tune in the way you want it to be, but nobody knows it's ever been touched. And I think that's what Very Audio can do that a lot of other software can't do. One thing I love about Cubase 10 is they've massively upgraded Very Audio, new features, um, new creative features, but also a much better workflow. And I'm finding I'm just zipping through vocal tuning in a way I haven't been able to do before. So we've had Taylor in the studio today and you know, some singers need a lot of help with their pitch correction. Some you could basically put the song out with none and Taylor's more on that end of the spectrum. But still, you know, it's always worth taking a look, just seeing what you can do, what minor tweaks you can make with timing and tuning. It's just gonna add that extra level of polish. Very Audio is built into Cubase, so you just double click on your track here and then you're over here on the left hand side, edit Very Audio and you're away. Feel the blood is rushing. All right, so what we've got here is this little phrase. Feel the blood is rushing. Um. Now, as I said before, tail is pretty tight. You could probably be happy with that. But with Very Audio, we can jump in and we can probably finesse that just that little bit more. I've been using Very Audio for quite a few years now. It's pretty integral to what I do. Uh, one really major improvement in Cubase 10 is this workflow. Uh, upgrade. So basically when you're up here on the uh, waveform you can move the pitch around but when you come down here on the block it turns into a cut tool. So there's no more going over here to the other side of the screen um, and changing between tools you're suddenly either moving the pitch like this or you're slicing it into two and that's very handy especially when you want to treat different sections of the same phrase differently. In previous versions you'd uh, have to swap between two different tools but now it's simply all one tool just depending on where you are in the block. You're suddenly either cutting or you can move the pitch around and I'm finding that's really speeding up vocal tuning. All right so I'm just going to have a look at this phrase here. I got the sand now I want you more. Not bad but we could do a couple of things to this. So firstly, I know that this note here, uh, which is closer to an F, really should be an E. So I'm just gonna bump that down to an E. Likewise here, needs to be an F sharp, and this should be an A. So that's just all standard very audio stuff, and we'll already find that sounds better. I got the sand, now I want... Now, here I kind of would rather that I could chop this bit into two. So. In previous versions, you would have to select a different tool, but in the newer version, which I really like, you can go there and you can slice it and you can move these two parts independently. Let's see how that sounds. I got the sand, now I want you. Yeah, so I'm kind of preferring that. I'll just move over here as well. So let's have a listen to what I've got now. I got the sand, now I want you. Okay, that sounds good. Now perhaps we want a little less vibrato on this part here. Now we've separated this part into three chunks, uh, we can easily do it. So before, what you would do is you would go over to the left panel here and you would do straighten curve and you can have that vibrato reduced. And that's fine, but with the smart controls that they've got now, you'll see these, hmm, how many, eight handles around the block. Now the middle here is actually a straighten curve. So you can simply drag it down and you've done the straighten. Let's have a listen. I got the sand, now I want you. Maybe we want it even straighter than that. I got the sand, now I want you. Starting to sound a bit too weird doing it that way. So I'll probably just reduce it a bit more. And I've got it.
So moving through the phrase here, now I'm coming to this part. So let's have a listen to it. I got the sand, now I want you more. You so with this, it's really two notes, but it's, it's uh, only been identified as one block in Very Audio. So it's really easy now just to drag your mouse down there and you can cut that into two. I'm going to just move that up just a little tiny bit more. I'm going to move that onto pitch and let me see what I've got now. I got the sand, now I want you more. Yeah, just that little bit tighter, that little bit cleaner. So coming to this next part, I'm just going to move over here. So now you've got a tilt control on the side here. So you can simply do that or you can do this and likewise from the start. And I find that's very handy. Once again, on this part with maybe more vibrato than you ideally want, you can simply straighten that way or unstraighten that way. Another one of the handles on the new smart controls, which I really like, is it has the quantized pitch uh, built right into the note. So basically that means right here, I want to move this to F sharp. So I can simply do that and it's quantized. And you can see that it's moved it perfectly onto that block. So now that's going to be dead in tune. Another smart control that's built in is volume. So if one word was particularly loud or perhaps if you wanted to even DS manually is an application I can think of. You go to this little smart control here and you can bring that word way down. So let's hear what that sounds like. You got a hunger to Oh, that's too much. <laughs> let's say just a little bit. You got a hunger to or you can go up more. You got a hunger. That's probably a little more natural. If there happens to be a word that you just want to pull down that little bit, that's a really easy way that you can do it now. You got a hunger, don't. And of course, you can go over to the left panel here, and the volume is there for that note too. You got a hunger. You can also turn it up, which is kind of cool. You got a hunger. Don't so I can see all kind of applications for that. When one word just simply pops out that little bit too much, or there's a hard T sound or a hard S sound, right in Vary Audio, adjust the volume of that. I'm always looking for an interesting way to do vocal chops. I think we've come a long way in terms of vocal processing and weird tweaked vocals. So you have to really lift your game and look for something original. And one thing I've already discovered in Cubase, not that I particularly want to give this secret away, is that you can have individual formant control on every note. And I haven't seen anything like this anywhere else. So what that means, for example, just listening to this phrase naturally. Give me something, give me, give me something. So what I'm going to do is for this one, I'm going to shift the formant up. And for this one, I'm going to shift it down. Just as an extreme example of what you might be able to do. Let's have a listen. Give me something, give me, give me something. Close. So I think that's quite unique and quite different, but let's go a little further. Okay, so let's shift that one. And let's shift this one. What does that give us? Give me something, give me, give me something. Close. So you get this really strange alien sort of sound that I think would have been really difficult to achieve any other way before. But I'll go one step further, and I'll do basically every note in a kind of fairly random way, and it gives me this. Give me something, give me, give me something. It's almost like the vocal's twisting and turning. It's kind of hard to get your ear around, but I think it really grabs your attention. And I think it would have been hard to get that result any other way in the past. One of the great things about Vary Audio is it can generate harmonies and it interacts with your chord track, which I you know, always have by default up the top here. So it's not just going to generate a fifth and a third, it's going to look at your chords and it's going to generate harmonies that suit. So to generate harmonies, all you need to do is you just click on your vocal track here and then you're to the audio menu and generate harmony voices. So I think three's usually a good starting point um, reduce vibrato strength, that simply uh, means it won't exactly copy the lead vocal channel to get a little bit more of a natural result. And click OK. So now we've got four parts here. We've got our lead vocal, we have a soprano, we have an alto, and we have a tenor. Now one really cool thing is if you select all of these parts 
and then double click on them, they're all going to show up in Vary Audio so you can see exactly what they're doing. So now you can see that our three new Harmony parts are here in the mixer and the nice thing is is that the all of the EQ, send and inserts have also been copied to all of them so you don't need to do that. So let's just balance them. I'll pull them down a little bit as you would per normal harmonies and I will pan them a little bit as well. Here we go. Now let's hear how that sounds. I think that's a great place to start if you're not experienced with harmonies or your singer's left for the day and you uh, don't have the option of getting them to sing anything. You can start with that. You can get in there and tweak it. You can use some of them or all of them. You can change the voicings, the complexity. Uh, there's a whole world of things you can do, but basically if you want an instant three-part harmony, that gets you going. No doubt, baby, I'm like 